So there I was watching the Cubs-Cardinals game the other day on Fox. And I think it was second inning. I sit there. And in the broadcast booth is Braun Strowman. Talking about himself. Talking about WWE. And not surprisingly, because especially it being Major League Baseball, plenty of baseball journalists and baseball fans took to Twitter to voice their great displeasure at Fox for giving airtime during a critically important game and arguably the most important game of the season they've shown to date to freaking Braun Strowman, a wrestler, and the WWE. Like this was a big deal, like this was earth shattering. In the span of a three or four hour game, taking a half of an inning or a full inning to talk to a wrestler was some big, bad, damn bad deal. Now, as somebody who is both a wrestling fan and a Major League Baseball fan, this to me is yet another reminder of why baseball, frankly, is in the damn shape that it's in. A bunch of old school, stuck in their old thinking ways, baseball fans and baseball people that prevent the sport from joining the rest of the other sports in the 21st century. These are the same type of clowns that would go on social media and talk about, I support the unwritten rules of baseball. You can't bunt when there's a no-hitter, even if it was a 2-0 game in the ninth inning and there's no outs, and if you bunt and you get a single, time run comes to the plate. Somebody hits a home run on us and he looks at him. We gotta beat him. That's how it's done. Instead of striking the motherfucker out the next time. Like, this is the type of mentality that baseball fans have. It's an old sport. It's an old game with all types of history and tradition. And you can even see that in the way it's represented. Like, everybody talks about Jackie Robinson and how he broke baseball's color barrier and how that was such a signature marquee moment. And that goes back to the fact that in the 40s, along with boxing and horse racing, baseball was the sport of the country. It absolutely was. So you get somebody like Marion Motley and others that broke, re-broke, I should say, the NFL's color barrier in 46, and they kind of unfortunately get lost in the scope of history because at that time, baseball was king. So it's all about Jackie Robinson. We forget about Marion Motley and others that helped break football's Quillerberry in 46 after it had been reinstituted back in the 30s. But nonetheless, these fans sitting there are bitching and pissing and moaning about the temerity, the audacity, the gall of cross-promoting another Fox program during baseball. It reminded me of wrestling fans. It really did. Like kind of, no matter what you do, there's always gonna be whining, complaining, and bitching, whether it's others, whether it's me and others joining in on it, whatever the case might be. I'm like, oh, okay, that's what it could look like sometimes from wrestling fans on the outside looking in. That, that's what we could look like. Bunch of whiny babies about really stupid, insignificant, unimportant crap. I mean, what did these baseball fans think Fox should do. They have made a billion dollar investment, keep me honest here, wasn't it 200 million a year for five years or whatever the hell it was? Either way, it was a lot of money. It was a large, significant investment that that Fox network has made into a product, into a brand, into a television show. So naturally, understandably, they are leveraging an established product like Major League Baseball to put over something new that is coming to their network for the first time starting Friday, October 4th. How in the hell, how in the hell is this unreasonable? How in the hell is this a problem? Throughout the history of baseball, football, other sports for years, part of the reason that these networks buy into sports is to be able to use them as launching points and platforms to cross-promote other shows and other products that they feature or are going to feature or want to get off the ground. Part of the purpose of bidding for the Super Bowl and paying the amount of money you pay to get a Super Bowl as a network is to be able to get 
that prime premium advertising space for yourself to promote your current shows, promote your future shows, promote your future lineups, your future stars, your future characters, what have you, and then use it as a launching point for new shows post Super Bowl. But all of a sudden now it's so evil and bad when Fox does it because it's wrestling. Give me a freaking break. If you were in the position of Fox and their executives, you would do the exact same thing. And if you wouldn't do the exact same thing and I was your boss, boss, I would fire your ass without hesitation. Let's be realistic here. This is where sometimes you can allow the fandom to cloud your logic and eliminate your grip on reality. The reality is Fox invested a crap ton of money into WWE. Henceforth, as a result, it makes a world of sense to put a crap ton of effort into promoting and launching this new product off the ground. There is no established relationship in history with Fox when it comes to SmackDown in that Friday night time slot. They have made a large investment there. They are the primetime featured spot on Friday nights. There's a lot of pressure there for Fox for this to go right. There is a lot of pressure for WWE for this to go right. And yet, here are these baseball fans so consumed with wanting to be so stayed and true towards a clearly mediocre product, which is exactly what the hell baseball is now. That, my God, you spend time promoting something else that's going on your show is that bad. Fuck you. Is it because you just don't want anything else interrupting your precious baseball? Screw you. Is it because you don't like that fake wrestling crap? Well, how many of those idiots that talk about fake wrestling will sit there and watch all these other fake-ass reality shows? Or watch this show or that show that's all scripted. It's fake, too! If it really bothered you that much that they were cross-promoting something else that they've invested a ton of money in, Get over it. It's not going to get any better. It's going to continue as it should. You would do the same thing if you were in Fox's position as you should. And if you wouldn't, then I would question your sanity and your basic business sense. Get the hell over yourselves.